The surprise move, the suspect in a Gaston County murder trial stood up and pleaded guilty and accepted a life sentence. I am truly sorry. Jeffrey Aker shot and killed his girlfriend right in front of her children. Eyewitness News reporter Ken Lemon had the only camera in the courtroom for that confession. And can you learn testimony from his own daughter led to today's change of heart? Yeah, recordings from phone calls made from the jail revealed that, revealed that Jeffrey Aker was concerned. He felt doomed by his own daughter's testimony. She was in the room during that fatal shooting. And winning this case would have put him and the rest of his family against a six-year-old. I, I am truly sorry. It was an unexpected apology. Jeffrey Aker pled guilty, interrupting his own murder trial, knowing he would still get life in prison. His attorney said it is not a defense strategy. His decision and his decision alone. Aker was accused of putting a gun to the head of his girlfriend, Lacey West, and killing her two years ago. His six-year-old daughter witnessed it and testified against him last week. After her testimony, the area code. Aker made two phone calls from jail to family members who were also supposed to testify in the trial. The recorded calls were played in court, but jurors didn't hear them. Aker told his stepfather he didn't agree with his daughter's account, but he made this admission. His attorney was dumbfounded. Aker told his grandmother things look bleak. I'm looking in the jury's face right now. I'm telling them they're not ready to give me life right now. The defense attorney said after the calls were discovered, Aker talked about admitting to murder. I'd like to apologize to Jordan West, the brother of Lacey West. That brother told me Aker should have made the admission from the beginning instead of halfway through the trial. And spare everybody their, you know, emotional pain. Lacey West's family are hopeful this brings closure to her grieving nine-year-old son. I pray all night that he changes and do this would happen today. Even the judge told Aker he uh, admired that he admitted to the crime and accepted the maximum penalty. Uh, he told Aker that this doesn't absolve him from murder, but at least in this case, you have been a man. Live in Gastonia, I'm Ken Lemon, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.